Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I'm here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I've just pulled in. This is my first solo Walt Disney World trip. I can't believe that I'm doing this by myself. But if you guys have seen my last video, you'll know why I'm doing this as a solo trip. But I feel like this is something that I needed to do for myself. Walt Disney World is my happy place and I haven't been here in like six months. So I'm happy to stay at one of the best resorts here that I haven't stayed at in quite some time. I have a savanna view so I'll be able to see all the animals every morning. So I'm very excited to show you guys that and bring you along with me on this Walt Disney World stay. I will be seeing a few friends during my time here so I won't be completely completely alone but I will be staying alone in the hotel. I'm still in the parking lot right now because it rained so I'm kind of waiting for the rain to slow down because I do have a bunch of bags that I'm going to bring in with me. So like I said I've arrived at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. I haven't stayed here probably in like four years so let's go inside. This is not how I wanted to arrive at Disney World but you know what Disney World and rainy weather is better than no Disney World at all so I will take it. This is very weird because I'm so used to doing this with someone else but I'm doing it alone. I got all the bags. I'm gonna be self-sufficient on this trip. Okay, the rain's getting worse. Oh, Animal Kingdom Lodge, so good to be back. Welcome home. All right. Mmm, smells so good. The famous Disney Resort smell. Sorry, I think I got some rain on the lens here. <laughs> but here we are in the lobby. Wow, so gorgeous. All right. I'm on the fifth floor in the Disney Vacation Club rooms. So if you're new to my channel, I am a Disney Vacation Club member. All right, now to find the room. So Animal Kingdom Lodge has this little bridge that crosses through the lobby. And I've always loved walking across this, I don't know why. It just feels like one of those bridges from the movies. The ones that are usually unstable, but this bridge is very stable, guys. <laughs> Not to worry. 5502. Home sweet home for the next four nights. Let's check out the room, shall we? Man, it's been a long time since I've stayed here. I know I keep saying that, but I love this resort and I do have a savanna view. As you guys can see, the savannah's out here. There aren't any animals out there right now, probably because it's raining. Oh, that's not true. I do see some animals. Right down there. The little white, little white animals. I don't know what they are. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you guys know what I always do every time I get into a Walt Disney World Resort and it is turn on the TV and put on the WDW Today channel. Ah, oh, this is different. They've changed it. So it's no longer what it used to be. Okay. I kind of remember this from my last trip. So it's a little different. It's more interactive. You can watch TV, you can do Disney on demand, you can connect your device, hotel services, and then probably get uh, park information by clicking on that one right there. Yeah, so if you click that button, you get to see all the parks and how late they're open. So Magic Kingdom's open until 11 p.m. tonight, which is pretty late for Magic Kingdom. 9 p.m. at Epcot, normal, Hollywood Studios, 9.30, and Disney's Animal Kingdom, 7 p.m. All right, quick room tour. Door, mirror, vanity area, bathroom, toilet, shower, the famous H2O body products, which are now in these little dispensers, kitchenette space. So it does come with a fridge. The fridge is pretty big. You got the microwave, toaster, coffee maker, coffee, creamer, sugar, stir sticks, coffee cups, queen size bed, an armoire with some extra blankets and pillows. It also has a luggage rack, some hangers, and a safe. Coffee table, couch, balcony. We have this little side table over here with two chairs to have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and then the TV. I hope that was quick enough of a room tour for you guys. I don't typically like to do the very detailed room tours. You guys can watch other YouTubers for that, but I like to do it really quick. Now, to unpack, load the fridge, and then figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night, because the weather is not that good. I might just hang out in the resort. So I just went downstairs and I got some dinner. But look at this awesome view. First of all, look at those clouds, <laughs> okay? But the pool's down there. It's pretty quiet. It feels so relaxing. You guys are gonna be so surprised with what I got for dinner because it's not something that I normally get. It is not child food. I actually got adult food. Look at that. Chicken, shrimp, some rice, in some creamy sauce. Don't get me wrong, I definitely debated getting the chicken tenders, but I said, you know what, let me let me try something else while I'm here. And that's a, that's an item that you can only get here because I've, because I've never seen it at any other quick service. So don't think I'm heading to the parks tonight. It's already kind of late and I'm really tired because I woke up early this morning. I did so much at home before I drove up here. But tomorrow's a full day. I'm hoping if the weather is good tomorrow to head over to Epcot. And then tomorrow evening, I'm hanging out with my really good friend, Kelsey. So I am looking forward to that. And the following day, I'll be hanging out with my friend, Coco. He's a good time. So if you're familiar with Animal Kingdom Lodge, this is from the Mara, the quick service restaurant here in the hotel. I'm gonna give you a little taste test, a little shrimp, some rice. That is very tasty. The next day. Good morning, everyone. 
from the Serengeti. We're here, it's a new morning here in Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. I gotta say, it was very weird to sleep in this bed by myself. As you guys know, I am usually always with someone. It was just weird. I almost feel like I'm at work. So if you guys don't know, I am a flight attendant and we stay at hotels regularly. So it almost feels like I'm gonna lay over at work. Anyways, the time is now 6.57. I set my alarm for 6.58 because at 7 a.m. I have to get into a virtual queue for a ride at Epcot for the new, well it's not new anymore, but it's, but it's a Cosmic Rewind Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And I've only done it once, and today is my park pass for Epcot, so I'm gonna try and get on the virtual queue for this ride. This is the screen that I need to be on to get on the virtual queue. So when the clock strikes 7 a.m., I have to hit that button, or I can just pull the screen down and refresh it. I slept really well though. It looks like it's gonna be a nice morning, although the forecast does say that it's gonna rain later this afternoon, but that's typical Florida. Today, I feel refreshed, I feel good. There is some sun right now. Oh, and also before I drove up to Orlando, Ooh, it's 6.59. I'll tell you guys in a little bit. When doing the virtual queue, I like to do it on my Apple Watch because so it tells you down to the second. But really quick, before I drove up to Orlando, I stopped and I got a B12 shot to give me a little bit of energy, a vitamin B12 shot. All right, we have 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Join virtual queue. Done. That was easy. <laughs> my heart is beating right now. <laughs> Anytime I do these things, I get so stressed out. But anyways, I got group 11. My estimated wait time is 175 minutes. So that's how you get a virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's go see if there are any animals. No animals yet. Last night I did see a giraffe out there though, so that was pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go get a workout in at the hotel gym. Come back, get ready, make myself some breakfast. I brought myself some breakfast. Didn't even show you guys my little snacks that I brought for this trip. So I have protein bars, I have these Quest cheese crackers, and then I have this Catalina Crunch cereal. In the fridge we have some waters, some bubbly right there, and then I brought these little breakfast sandwiches. What's wild to me is one bottle of water cost here at Walt Disney World is like four bucks. That's how much the entire case of water cost me. So if you're ever coming to Walt Disney World and you're staying at one of the resorts or anywhere, just make sure you buy yourself a case of water. It's way cheaper that way. All right, guys, I went to the gym. This is my outfit for the day. I'm wearing a vintage, <laughs> not really vintage, Epcot Forever shirt, some shorts and some shoes. This is my park outfit for the day, guys. I did work out today, so I'm really excited about that. I took a vitamin B12 shot yesterday, which is which is what I was trying to tell you. On my way up to Orlando, I stopped and I got a vitamin B12 shot because I was feeling really low on energy. I feel really good today. Gonna head to the park now. There should be a bus. There's a bus downstairs that will arrive in about nine minutes that will drop me off at Epcot. So I'm here at the bus depot and it says the next bus to Epcot will be at 948. And it's 929. So I guess I gotta wait another 20 more minutes. Bad news. So remember my virtual queue that I had? So it says I have to be there by 9.40 a.m. And it's not gonna happen because I'm still here at the resort and it's 9.33 a.m. So hopefully they'll let me in. I'll try my luck when I get to the park. We'll see what happens. 9.55 and there is the Epcot bus. Made it to Epcot. Rain is supposed to start in about an hour. So hopefully I can beat the rain. I don't like those clouds up there. I don't like it at all, but hopefully it'll just pass us by. Time to go through security and then into the park we go. So I think I forgot to mention to you guys, but it is Flower and Garden. Wow, look at this amazing topiary. Look at that, that is enormous. So big, it's Encanto. We got Maribel and <laughs> I don't know the other one's name. I just know Maribel, the Madrigal family. All right, let's go in. Let's go see if I can still get on the ride. I'm super late. I'm making a mad dash over to Cosmic Rewind, hopefully. Hopefully they'll let me in. I'm like 30 minutes late, but it's just me. So maybe they'll make an exception. Oh, look at the topiaries. I'm totally missing all the topiaries. I'm walking in so fast. There it is, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Someone have to go to the virtual queue, which is here to the left. They said, yes, I got in. All right, let's get into the ride. Wonders of Xandar. Let's hurry up and wait. <laughs> Long line inside. One hour later. All right, so just got off the ride. So despite the fact that you have a virtual queue, you still have to wait in line. So I waited for about an hour inside of the ride, but it was good. Now time to go and get a margarita probably. It's 11.30 a.m. Is it too early for a margarita? I think not.
I just went into the Disney Trader store and I bought a little gift card because it is a flower and garden festival. So I put $50 on here and I'm gonna scan it at every single kiosk that I buy food in. It's way easier than having to take out your credit card every single time. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I love me a good margarita. So Chosa de Margarita is my first stop. 11.35, it's a little later now, so it's probably more acceptable for some of you. <laughs> I got my margarita. It's melting pretty fast because it's very hot. So I'm drinking it pretty quickly here. First snack of the day is a Korean Impossible barbecue short rib. I had this last year and I remember it being very delicious. Oh my goodness, look at all those bumblebees. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I get pretty freaked out by bumblebees, so I should probably leave. I'm facing my fears with the bumblebees. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna be watching them very closely, but I have like a phobia of like bees and wasps and all that. Mmm just as good as I remember. This is probably the worst festival for me to come to because there's flowers everywhere because it's obviously the flowering garden festival. It took a while for me to find a spot with no flowers around me. But anywho, I got the chicken and waffles from the Honey Bistro. First time I've seen this, I think. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had the chicken and waffles before. But let's give it a try. The, it's a very big piece of chicken they gave me. You know, I did work out this morning. I do need the protein. I will say one thing. When you come with someone else to these festivals, you can share the food and then you can try more more things. After this, I think I'm gonna be full, so I don't know how much more food I can try. It's good, but it's not, not the best chicken and waffle that I've ever had. Just did a whole lap around the world, the Epcot World Showcase. And I gotta say, solo Disney is not for me. I like to be with my friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. I like to be with someone whenever I come to Disney. It just wasn't as enjoyable just being by myself. I don't know if it's because of the heat. I don't know, but I, I would just prefer being with someone else. That's just my perspective on the situation. I am heading back to the hotel now. Since I am meeting with my friend Kelsey in a couple of hours, I just wanna go get refreshed, rest a little bit, and then tonight we will have a lot more fun. Back at the bus transportation depot, now I just gotta find where, oh, I think that one says Animal Kingdom Lodge. So I better run. <laughs> I made it on the bus. Just got off of the bus from Epcot, back at Animal Kingdom Lodge, going to the room, gonna relax. All right, I'm back. Let's see if there's any animals outside. Uh, no. They must be on the other side of the savanna. Two hours later. So I just took a nap, woke up, got dressed really quickly. Now I'm going to Disney Springs and catching a bus to Coronado Springs to go meet my friend Kelsey. I'm trying to catch the next bus at 3.53, which is in like two minutes from now, so I'm running. Still running. Change of plans, I'm taking an Uber. Buses are taking way too long. I have just made it here to Coronado Springs. There was a quick little lift ride from Animal Kingdom, about like seven minutes it took me to get here. But this is it, I've never been here. It's my first time at this resort, very pretty. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait for my friend Kelsey to get here. I don't know how much more I'll be vlogging after this point just because I'm gonna just hang out with friends and relax. Hi guys, just hanging out here with Kelsey. Hi! You, you all know her, you love her so much because you've seen her on my oh. previous vlogs and stuff like that. So we just had a few drinks here. We're here at the Coronado Springs. There's John. Hi John. Hi John. We had a little charcuterie board. I know it's not called charcuterie board. Don't come for me in the comments. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. And some drinks. And some wings. And some wings. <gasps> Kelsey! The next day. It's a new day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Last night I had the best time with Kelsey, her friend. I did get back to the hotel a little late. I slept in today. It's now 10.30 and I need to get my day started. I'm heading over to Animal Kingdom today. This is the current view. For some reason I feel like there's barely any animals on this side of the savannah. Tonight Coco is coming over. Kelsey is also going to join us again tonight. I'll try to get some more footage tonight. Alright, so let's head over to Animal Kingdom. It's literally right next door. Like it's probably going to take me like two minutes to get there by bus. So this is the outfit for today. Comfortable theme park attire. All right, the next bus to Animal Kingdom is at 10.54 and it is 10.38. Change of plans, going back to the room to grab my car keys because it's just taking way too long for these buses to show up and then they get so filled up. I just rather drive, especially because it's so close by. So I'm here at Animal Kingdom in the parking lot and I'm just gonna be very candid with you guys. I don't feel like going in. I don't feel like going to the park. It's just not as fun like just coming here alone and I don't know, I just wanna be very honest on my channel and, and I don't wanna pretend that like, oh, everything's great with me because obviously I'm going through something. But yeah, I don't feel like being here at the park today, so. I'm gonna go back to the hotel. My friends are coming over later. I'm just gonna chill, rest, relax. Maybe I'll go to the gym, maybe I'll go to the pool. But I'm not gonna force myself to do something that I don't wanna do. I hope you guys understand. <laughs> and I hope, it, I hope it makes sense. Like look, I'm literally here right now in the parking lot and I don't wanna be here. <laughs> I don't really wanna spend time here alone. I'm gonna go back to Animal Kingdom 
lodge now. Well, that was a bust. <laughs> so better idea, I came back to the resort and I got some chicken tendies to make myself feel better. Not that I'm not feeling good, because I feel fine. Like, I'm not, like, unhappy to be here. This is not as fun, if that makes sense. I'm very grateful to be here. I still love Walt Disney World. It's not as fun when you're alone. Mmm. All right, it's been a few hours. Coco just got here, so I'm gonna go meet him in the parking lot. So Coco and I shared locations. There he is. <laughs> Hold on, I'm supposed to record you. Hold on. Look at that hairline. I wanted to come find you out here. So fun fact, we share each other's locations, so he's always stalking me. I know, I just I just showed them like <laughs> I was like tracking you. I'm like, he's around here somewhere. Yay, we're here! <laughs> Vlog section! Yeah, we're here. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny oh, as hell. Look at that hairline though. <laughs> backpack, backpack, backpack. Oh my god. Coco will be staying with me for the night and Jeremy's coming later. He is, yeah. Oh my god, it's so funny because in my vlog I'm saying the same thing. Oh really? But I said from my perspective. Of course. We're gonna welcome Coco to my humble abode. Oh, should I be recording this? Yes, you should be. <laughs> this is so hard. Francesco welcoming me to his home. <laughs> Are we gonna be doing this the whole time? Uh, we'll have more Re recording on recording. Ooh, look, he's always so healthy. I even got the ice bucket ready for us. We're okay. having some drinks. Thank the Lord. You see, prepared. <laughs> prepared. Yeah, we have stayed here. Yeah, we have. Coco's over there making himself a cocktail. So we do have some news, which I've already told before, but you guys may not may have not watched that video. But once Coco gets back here, we'll tell you again. It's a, well, it's not a surprise because you already told me. But there are some people who didn't watch that video, so a lot of people don't know. We're having a little coffee talk with <laughs> with our uh, our Moai glasses. We're having a little cocktail, little cockies. Cheers. Cheers. So the news is that Coco and I are going on a five night Disney cruise next month in June. Yay. Lots of exciting things. Five about nights, double uh, castaway. Okay. Is it key or K? Lots of exciting things about this cruise. <laughs> is it key or K? Five the nights. The controversy of it all. Five nights on the Disney Magic. Coco's never been on the mm -hmm. Disney Magic before. He's only been on the Dream and the Wish. But I'm excited because um, if you watch the Disney Wish vlogs, honestly, I think I prefer that old school look. That old school look of the, like, glamour of it all. Like, like the classic that, ship. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's never been on the Magic before. I've been on the Disney Magic, but it's obviously been a long time since I've been on it. So, and it's five nights, and it does a double dip, double stop at Castaway Key, Disney's private island. So he says it's K. The but lady on the TV selling jewelry that one cruise I went on said K. Yeah, so it's it's the debate of the century, key or K. Let us know. Comment down below. So that's our exciting news. It's just him and I are gonna do it. No, yeah. no boyfriends. Jeremy said bye. Have fun. <laughs> so we're doing that, and I haven't mentioned. No, we should mention on the August one. No, shush. Okay, sh we're, we're gonna say that, that we have another announcement. Yeah, we have another announcement. We're not gonna say it on this video. I will say, not only do we have our Disney cruise in June, but we have my birthday cruise in July on Virgin Voyages, and Coco will also be there. Guys, I was supposed to be paying this hairline off, okay? I was supposed to pay the hairline off. Look, I'm so lucky that after the news broke from the last video you guys saw about my relationship, Coco decided to book my birthday cruise last yeah. minute to be there to support me because obviously it's a cruise that I'm gonna be on at this new stage of my life. And he wants to be there to support me. This so new journey. You know we love us a journey. Speaking of journeys, I'm on a weight gain journey. <laughs> um, you know I'm very body positive, but <laughs> my large shirts are starting to feel snug again. And I can't buy a new wardrobe because like I said, I'm going on all these cruises. I'm trying to pay this hairline off. That's going to be a journey too. I'm going to be taking the stairs with Francesco. Because you right. know he loves him some damn stairs mm -hmm. on a cruise. I do. And what else? <laughs> and then he loves waking up at 7 a.m. He loves waking up at 7 a.m., going to the gym, and keeping you up till midnight. No. Say it ain't so. We've done, we've done a, a cruise, just him and I before, and we had a good little system worked out, right? Yeah, he leaves me sleeping, but I need to be up at 7 with him. Oh. So well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and keep up. We'll do our best to go to sleep early. Midnight. Midnight is good. Okay, my arm is hurting now. Okay. Coco just like ran out of the room and I'm like, oh my God, what happened? What happened? He got really excited because there's a giraffe. There's one there and then there's also another one there. 
<laughs> we have next door neighbors, so we kind of feel a little awkward talking out there. I know we're like so close to the next to the neighbors. <laughs> like, they're like literally like right want, there. I don't I want, like that. I want privacy. I know I want some privacy. But finally, you got you got your giraffe. Yeah, He's been talking about the giraffe, giraffe since he got here. Videos. But you know what we haven't seen? Zebras. Well, also too. I went, I was so excited to see the giraffe and all I see is the woman like this. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like she was having a bad day. She was like, she was not happy. I'm like, how could you not be happy? You have two freaking giraffes outside of your room. Damn, these are really good. And they're protein. So these I got are better these, than cheez -Its. Yeah, they, so I got these little snacks. They are little uh, protein Cheez-Its, but they're- Five net carbs. They're by Quest. 10 grams of protein. Good, right? Very good, actually. Kelsey has arrived. Yeah. You all know and love been Kelsey. Here. She's been here, but we've been having some. I've been stopping her. We've been having some friend time. We're now at Victoria Falls here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're getting some drinks and some food here. Lots of yummy things. How's the food? Oh. Oh, look at you. That's a juicy bite. Mm -hmm. Enjoy that. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, so good. What's it gonna be? More than friends. Hold me tight and don't let go. Let go. To lose control. Let go. Yes. Give it to us. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't fall. Do not fall. So that was a fun night. We're here. Coco and Jeremy slept over. We're blinding the light behind you, is like blinding the camera. It's slimming. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys saw, we had a ton of fun. Coco was climbing up onto the armoire and all that. Oh, I forgot about that. But yeah, that was fun. We had a good time. Now I'm gonna end this vlog right now, and then today Coco and I are we're heading to Hollywood Studios, and then we're probably gonna go park hop to Epcot, and we're gonna have some park fun. Maybe do some drinks in the parks. And it is my last full day here at the resort. But if I do drink, then I'm not driving home tonight which was part of the plan. But anyways, tomorrow's check out. We're gonna continue this onto the next vlog. So thanks for watching this vlog. Make sure you're subscribed, bell notifications on, so you'll be alerted the next time I post the next one. Make sure you're following The Coco's Corner. As I said earlier, we are gonna go on a cruise next month. Actually, we got a cruise, three cruises with Coco, with The Coco's Corner. A lot of memories to be made. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.